Hey there guys, I know that you want to convey your own stories to a lot of people, that's why you are doing YouTube. But what about those stories who want to change cultural perspective and motivate people and to see or expose the dilemma that sometimes they need to have social changes in their community. Today guys, let's talk about on how you can create these videos so that you can motivate and also expose dilemmas that they need social change. But before we do this guys, you know what to do, like, subscribe and gong that bell. Hey Freedom, my name is Nolden, welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. I want to make social changes as well but I don't have that quite of a topic yet. The topics in my mind right now is that D&D is way better than video games but guys I digress. I know that you guys have your own stories to spark social changes and on this episode you are lucky because today we will be helping you out with that. So without further ado guys, freedom, quick tips. Alright guys, first things first, you gotta be the change. When we say change, you have to embody the very thing you aspire to change in the world. If you want to change a certain perspective on a certain ethnicity, make it a point that in yourself you have assimilated yourself to that culture. If you're against racism, make a point you condemn acts of racism and other points of perspectives. You have to stand up to what you believe to make you look legitimate and authentic in your videos. Now that you have this first step in the bag guys, let's talk about how you can define your message in four steps. Number one is, what's your point of view? What do you want your audience to walk away with? What's a special idea or angle that you want to impart to your audience? Your point of view must be very clear and vivid because this is the message you want to impart to your audience. The clearer the picture is in your mind, the better your perspective appears to the people. Number two is why do you care? Whether it's a personal story belonging to you or someone else, communicating your reason behind your interest in an issue can be very effective. Number three is what actions do you want your audiences to take? Consider giving your audience a positive action to take after they watch your video. Do you want them to spread awareness? Discuss the issue with your friends, go out and vote. The sky's the limit, but you'll want to be as specific as possible. Number four, how do you want this content to be consumed? Is your goal to spread awareness, to have your videos used in a classroom, or request action? Your intention and method of distribution can guide key decisions about content. So now that you have those four steps answered and ready to go, let's start crafting your story. Stories are a powerful tool for you to get your story across your audience, so in order for you to create this, we'll teach you the basic formula for a story which we can call an arc. Number one is the setup or an inciting moment. The setup is like the introduction part of your story. You set up the current situation of the characters involved. There's also a brief period where you can showcase the characteristics of your characters, where they live, who are their friends, and what are they doing and stuff like that. Number two is confrontation or rising action. This is where in the part of the story becomes interesting because this is where arguments or actions that requires confrontations from both parties. This is where the story peaks and the most interesting part of it comes in. Number three, resolution where the hero succeeds or fails. To give you insights on this, you might be making a documentary about YouTube vloggers. This may be a good example of a story arc. The setup is you showcase the vlogger and the vlogger is an entertaining dude who makes gameplay videos, haunted challenges videos, videos going to beaches and living life and just having a really, really good time. Number two, the rising action is vlogger suffered a financial blow because his videos has been taken down by YouTube because of community guideline violations. The resolution is, vlogger adapts to the community guidelines, but the idea for the content still stays the same. That's a basic story right there, and if you want to create that, you can go ahead, I give you my permission. <laughs> Let's say now you have made your topic. Do you have any idea on how you can creatively approach people with the topic you have picked? If not, don't worry, I got you guys. Number one is, explore perspectives. Can you experience a part of someone else's culture? through dress, food, sports, or religious event. Is it what you expected? Day in the life of, something like that. You could also challenge stereotypes to highlight how we treat each other by asking, why do certain stereotypes exist? Are they really accurate? Be sure you're informed on all of the obvious sides and see what you can learn. Number two is share stories of those who are affected. Consider interviewing people who have been or are suffering. Perhaps they are targets of online hate speech, minority groups, or people just trying to figure out their life. Number three is co-create videos within your target audience. A video starring community members may resonate more. For example, you are very fascinated in the culture of the Philippines. Maybe you can co-create with a Filipino or a Filipina so that you can get more out of it. Number four, celebrate diversity. Highlight relationships and friendships that cross racial, ethnic, religious, or other barriers. You can show the value of diversity in your community. Document day-to-day -day instances of cultural or other exchanges. 
Celebrate diversity with diversity. Number five, infuse humor. Humor has been shown to play an effective role in undermining hateful narratives and can make your videos more engaging to your audience. Can you reflect on a serious topic with lightheartedness? If you can, that would be amazing. Lastly guys, inspire action. Make sure in your videos you ask people who share the same perspective as you to make an action in their own way. If you manage to steer their emotions, you must be able to challenge them in a friendly way so that you can proactively cultivate your perspectives and views. And that's the episode guys, let us know down below if you have other tips for us so that we can make videos that can affect social change. Also guys, these tips came from Creator Academy so I suggest that you guys go ahead and go to Creator Academy to learn a few things about production. Share this to a friend who wants to make videos for social change so that you can help them out. Before you leave guys, please leave a like, subscribe and gong that bell. My name is Noel guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember, freedom, quick tips. I'm gonna be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye!